Hello everyone, this is my weekly journey to life vlog that had an influence me on me during this week and the vlog that I'm doing today is by Marlon Vargas del Razo and the statement within it that affected me was this. I forgive myself that I accept and allow myself to sentence myself in separation of life through the words spoken without awareness of what it is that we are in fact saying about ourselves, expressing ourselves wherein the very essence of our being is subjugated to a fantasy reality, an artificial creation in the mind through logic that never stood as common sense as what's best for all, but only stood as words arranged in a logical aspect that could fit the fuzzy logic of ourselves as mind systems, seeking to always saturate and satiate its necessary fix of energy to continue existing as the very consequence of the separation of who we are as life itself. And I liked this post. I liked uh, Marlin's use of fuzzy logic because um, very often if I look at my own actions, what I'm choosing to do, or what I'm feeling, and I look behind this, I can see that there's no basis to it, there's no logic to it, there's no substance to it, it's based on my past, on my past experiences, and what I believe that I want, what I believe will be an experience that will fulfill a need or a desire or a want that I have within me as a belief, idea, or judgment as what I'm supposed to exist as. And none of this is ever satisfying and if anything this dissatisfaction can be found in the repetition of many of the things that we do without any real self development or <laughs> real change in the world where war stops or starvation stops or the destruction of the earth's resources in ways that are detrimental as is being the condition that slowly exists on earth I mean it's in the news all the time so we don't look at what it is we're actually existing as and even within myself as I stop and look at myself and I see this and I realize do I really want to do this this desire what this habitual thing that I'm used to doing it's not really going to be satisfying and as I talk with other people about destiny, the destiny material, and becoming the living word, one and equal, with the physical here in self-direction, if I point out well, where, what they're saying, what they're desiring, and question it, the fuzzy logic of it is not wanting to be accepted, is not wanting to be looked at. And it's fascinating. Brings up a lot of eye blinking and deer and headlight characters. <laughs> anyway, Marlon, thank you for this blog. I enjoyed it and I suggest that everyone start walking self-forgiveness to stop the mind, to become calmer, to um, face what's compounded and believed within one that is not satisfying, will never satisfy. And if you really start looking at this, you'll start noticing all the constriction physically that exists within and how much damage is being done to this physical world not only the earth, the surface of the earth, but self, 
within one's own physical body and so much of this is obvious too in all the disease on within humans on this planet so clean yourself up clear your mind through the destiny I process which is writing out all the pictures and images and memories and ideas and beliefs and opinions and judgments existent within one that is broadcast by the mind to forgive through speaking the words of self-forgiveness and then walking the words of self-correction to align oneself equal and one to the physical so that we stop the separations and pieces that we've become through abdicating our own self-responsibility and self-honesty and we're all aware of this we all know when we become characters we all know that our personalities are a collection of behaviors that represent how we've separated ourselves from what is best for all so stand up and support an equal money system so that this world can get in order and life can begin thank you